I can personally attest to this. Personally attest. This is one of the funniest shows you will ever see. It's been called one of the funniest farces ever written. Noises Off presents a manic menagerie as a cast of itinerant actors <laughs> rehearse a flop called Nothing's On. That's right. The play takes place, takes a fond look at the follies of theater folk whose susceptibility to out of control egos, memory loss, and passionate affairs turn every performance into a high risk adventure. And joining us now is Henry Avery, the director of the show, along with one of the actors, Colin. And Borden, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having All us. All right, so guys, tell us just uh, <laughs> just very quickly about the show because we want to get into some of the particulars. But for the audience at home, give us a brief synopsis. Well, it's an English troupe that's uh, performing a show. Now, the we get to see the same act of a three-act play, but we see it three times. Mm -hmm. So you get to see it three stages in, throughout the production. You never get to see how it ends, mm -hmm. but you get to see this one and you get to know it pretty well, and that's mm -hmm. part of the fun of it because mm -hmm. you get to see how it should be and then what develops. Because uh, the story really is the relationship of the actors trying to get to through this production. On a play. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With so, what's the, the history behind the play? Well, it actually was uh, originally a, a little skit that was developed into a play in, in London, and then it was moved to Broadway. Broadway had a huge success with it. It's been revived any number of times. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a movie, mm -hmm. um, but the movie wasn't as successful as the. Uh, the play was. Yeah, it's and you know it's funny because I've seen the film a number of times mm -hmm. and it's an amazing cast. You couldn't ask oh, for yeah, a better cast: great. Michael Caine, John Ritter, Christopher Reeve, Mary Lou Kinner, Carol Burnett. I mean, legends in comedy and film. Um, but this this is something you need to experience. Live. Oh yeah, I think you lose something. That so energy. You, you, you play. Uh, tell us about the character that you play. Uh, I play a character called Roger. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Gary, who in the play <laughs> is See, Roger. See, you got to keep it straight <laughs> in your own head, right? Yeah. And uh, uh, Gary is, uh, he ends up being sort of the, the, the muscle, I guess. I mm -hmm. was thinking of he's kind of the villain of the show uh -huh. in some respects. Okay. <laughs> it um, seems like it's kind of a, a difficult, very tricky sort of piece. Was it, did you find it to be difficult at all? I don't know. I don't know. It's so much fun. It's not really hard. Mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of uh, physical stuff that mm -hmm. can be, uh, you know, challenging every now and then. But the second act is this big sort of silence yeah. uh, movie dance kind of number <laughs> where we're just yeah. trying to we're running around backstage I mean the whole set revolves around so we get yeah. to see backstage cool. mm -hmm. and we're running 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 trying to get make our marks mm -hmm. remember our lines yeah so it gets very physical um, that was challenging but yeah, it's also yeah. Fun. yeah I mean it really is almost the second act is almost like a dance yeah you know it is. It's so yeah. anyway Part one yeah. one comic but we don't want to reveal too much of this because I know that you got some tricks <laughs> up your sleeve you want the audience to come participate sardines play a big role in this show Lots yes. of sardines. Tell, tell us tell us uh, first of all are you working with real sardines no. No. That's a good thing. I'm sure Mrs. Clack is probably very happy that that's not happening. So um, tell us how the, the props like the sardines work into, into the bits and, and how they, they really kind of become a character in the show as well. They are indeed. I mean, and it's funny because you see a plate of sardines, you don't realize how many different plates of sardines they are. Mm -hmm. Some of them have to be able to fall off of the plate onto the floor. Some of them actually have to slide off of a plate and land on her head. So that has to be a whole different set of sardines that are sewn together with a, a liquid that will make it flow off the plate. <laughs> Others, you know, fall on the floor and have to be able to be picked up as, as one mass. Uh -huh. So they have to be all, you know, intricately put together. Yeah. Um, the, some of them have to be individual, but yeah. there are all sorts of, we spent a fortune on sardines. <laughs> There's so many plates of sardines, all looking like, you know, one or two of the same plates, but they all have different. Yeah. Um, Fantastic. Okay. So yeah. when, when does the show open? Opens tomorrow night opens and tomorrow runs night. through the 26th. Okay. Uh, we play Friday and Saturday evenings mm -hmm. at 7.30, right. Sunday matinee at 2, and we have a Thursday performance on the 23rd. Okay. And Fantastic. how can people get tickets? They can call the Baton Rouge, I mean the Albuquerque Baton Rouge Little Theater. I used to be there. <laughs> the Albuquerque Little Theater, um, you know, at the box office. Uh -huh. uh, you can get them over the telephone. You can get them online. Uh, go to our website. We make it easy. Fantastic. Um, you know, it's Fabulous theater, yeah. great, great I can't, seating. I can't capacity. recommend a better play to go see, guys. Anyway, yeah. we will have Thank all you. the information at casa.com. Head over there, guys.